All right, hello everyone, it's Team Rocket Draws here with another Pokemon card opening. And for this video, guys, we're gonna be opening this three, uh, the Guardian, the three Guardians pin uh, blister pack, which contains two packs. We got Crimson Invasion and Evolutions, as well as this double pack with uh, a Darkness Ablaze and a regular uh, Sword and Shield. So let me just turn this around, guys. So we do have a uh, uh, Tapu Lele in the back, a uh, Tapu Fini, and Top of Bulu. I gotta say my favorite one, it has to be Top of Bulu. It's actually a really cool pin. Yeah, they're, they're actually really cool. So let me show you guys the back right here so you guys can see all three of them. Uh, yeah, it's actually pretty cool. So I'll pause the video if you guys wanna check it out. And then it's just a double pack over here. There we go, so a Brilliant Flame on the darkest day. All right, so let me open them really quick, guys. That way, maybe you guys could be reading that while I open this one really quick. So uh, there's only gonna be, oh, all four of them are gonna be different. So we, we have a regular Sword and Shield, because I don't think it's a Rebel Clash. It looks like it's just a regular one. Uh, base set, Sword and Shield. Uh, we got the Darkness Ablaze. We have the Evolutions and the Crimson Invasion. So that's actually four packs in one four different ones so it is a base set um sword and shield and then the darkness ablaze which i haven't been too lucky on guys for some reason darkness ablaze is not the uh the greatest set for me um i haven't uh, been having a bad luck with it but let me know in the comment section how you guys been doing with that set if you guys have opened it um so let me just take everything out so we got the evolutions we have, I got like 10 packs of evolutions that I still need to open, which will be two videos, guys. I tend to open five in each video, just so I can spread the love. And then I also have the three pins right here. So we got Top of Bulu, which has to be my favorite one out of all three of them. I think Top of Goku is my favorite one out of all of them. Here's Top of Fini. These are really cool. They're like really high quality uh, pins. They're fairly big as well. Top of Lele. Pretty sure that's a, a fair one among a lot of people. But uh, yeah, there we go, guys. We got the four packs. So I think I'm going to start off with the Crimson Invasion. I'm going to leave Evolutions for last just because I really like it as well. No, actually, I'll leave the Darkness Ablaze for last. We're trying to see. Hopefully, we get something good. And then we'll go like this. So we're going to start off with the Crimson Invasion. And hopefully, we get something good. I'm excited for this. All right, so we're gonna start off with the code card. Here we go. Now, one, two, three, four. Other than the X and Y, I think all of them are gonna have an energy card. So we're gonna start the video off with an electric energy. We got a Lusamine, a Selgore, and thanks to Robot Guys, every video that we do, we're gonna choose our favorite art of the video uh, card-wise. So um, when I come across a really nice one, like this one right here, uh, Cacnea, that's actually a really cool art. It seems like he's huge in that video, in that uh, card. Uh, Hound Doom, which is a reverse uh, rare. There we go, guys. That's actually a really, really cool one. I still like the Cacnea for some reason. Like that's actually a pretty cool Cacnea. Um, but it is a reverse rare, which is really good. And for a rare of the pack, oh, there we go, guys. We ended up getting nice uh, N Nihilego. I can't even pronounce it, but Nihilego. Ni Lego. I don't know how to pronounce it, guys, but that's actually a cool card. I really like the purple. It actually makes the Pokemon stand out a lot. But it's a GX. It's actually pretty cool. So it's a 103 out of 111. Nice. We ended up getting a Niki Lego. <laughs> Let me know in the comment section how to pronounce it, guys, because I'm having some trouble pronouncing this Pokemon. Uh, Ni Lego. Niki Lego. A GX, so that's actually a really, really cool pull overall. Nice, we, we started off the the actual video with a really good. So it seems like all of them do have this little thing that I should. Why didn't you guys let me know in the comment section? I've been having so much trouble opening packs, guys, because I don't have any nails. And then it's that's been a thing all along where it, it helps you out to to open it. So why didn't you guys let me know? I'm over here looking like a fool trying to open the pack. Spend like a minute on each pack trying to open it. Uh, so we're going to start off with the Steel Energy. Uh, we got a really cool Hitmo Chan and then we got Hitmo Lee in the back. 
that's actually a really cool card and then uh, you can tell they're like in a at the top of a mountain or a hill uh, that's going above the the clouds and yeah that's actually really cool uh galarian light noon we got a sea king a naked which seems to be in like in almost all the sets a bull toy ching chow a Krabby, we got a Manchino. Our reverse is gonna be a Rabu, which should be an uncommon. And for our rare, and our last card of the pack is gonna be a regular rare Galarian Rapid Dash. That would be my my younger niece's favorite. <laughs> right here, she loves unicorns, guys. All she does is uh, unicorn this and unicorn that. Uh, so that's actually really cool. So that Cacnea is still still up there. I wonder who's gonna take it down. So we got another Evolutions, uh, which is one of my favorite uh, sets. Like I mentioned before, um, I'm trying to buy as many as I can right now. Uh, obviously it's a lot of money, but the ones that I'm able to buy, and it seems like this one doesn't really have that. So I guess it's not all the sets, it's probably only the newer ones. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna try to open them just because I really want that uh, hollow Charizard. I got the reverse Charizard, which is, which is running for like 50 bucks right now, guys. And it's only the reverse. I think the reverse is probably better than the, than the hollow. I think money-wise, people are looking for the reverse more just because I think it's harder to pull. So here's the code card. I'm not sure, guys, to be honest. Two, three, four. But when I got it, it was like 40 bucks. Now it's like 50. So I guess people are really chasing after that. Um, how is this a rare? All right. So, oh, I did four. No, but that shouldn't matter. All right, guys. So I've opened a few uh, evolution packs where I've gotten more than one rare. So I wonder if that's a thing in this one as well. So we have a, a rare Radicate. This one seems a little off for some reason. Uh, we got the flying Pikachu, which is a rare as well, which is a secret. Uh, so we, it's a 110 out of 108. And then we got a Hunter. We got a Coughing, Dodo, Pikachu, Staryu. Wasn't Staryu in the more in the middle? For some reason, I feel like that one's a little odd. Onyx, Weedle, a reverse. It's a revive. Oh, and it seems like I did do it wrong. Um, because this is the last card of the pack. Uh, so, yeah. So, it is a... What is it? It's a, an uncommon. So, our two rares of the pack. I ended up getting the Flying Pikachu. As well as the Raticate. So, there we go, guys. We didn't get the greatest pull. So, I already have that Pikachu. And then the, the secret cards of the set are not that um, like good money-wise. They're good as a collector, right? But just money wise they're not all right so now for the final pack and here's the code card so one two three four i think that went four instead of three that's why i messed up the the, the actual pack so we're gonna start off with the uh, psychic energy we got a Cor corvix wire lunatone struggle gloves uh naked shelmet we have a Larvitar that we surprised. The grammar is actually really cool. Uh, Galarian Duramaka. Our reverse is going to be a semi pour which should be a rare, but it's an uncommon. And for our final card of the video and the pack, it's going to be a regular rare Mimikyu. Nonetheless, it's a really cool card as well. So, um, I don't know which one's better, guys, the Cacnea or the Mimikyu. Hmm. I gotta say the Cacnea, something about the Cacnea, I think it's just the shading and the colors overall, they really stand out for me and I really like it. And he just seems like really, really happy, he's just enjoying a walk along the, the desert. That's actually a really cool card. Uh, but yeah guys, so let me know in the comment section which card out of all the ones that I pulled was your favorite and let me know why. Uh, but yeah guys, so I think that's gonna be it for this video. Don't forget to leave a like guys and subscribe for more videos. And I guess I'll just catch you guys on the next one. Team Rocket Draws, out.